Hello people, Sniper Girl here. Welcome to my 1000 subscriber Q&A. Before I answer your questions I, that you guys submitted last week, I want to show you guys some fan art I got from Muddy Grenade. So Muddy Grenade drew this and it looks awesome. Thank you Muddy Grenade. I included the link to the art in the description if you really want to look at it in more detail. So first question comes from Robbie Molnar. Are you ever going to show your face? right here. I did a 500 subscriber face reveal so I'm gonna assume you're new to my channel and my videos so welcome. Uh, next question WJ congrats on a thousand subs found this channel at 50 and I'm really happy it's grown so much. For the Q&A can you show us all your stats? Uh, I included the link to my stats in the description. It's, a, it's an Imgur album so if you really want to know just take your time look at it it's really nothing. And then number two, could you do update reviews or if needed rants or on the game every month or so? I can do update reviews, but I'll only do them when it's a content update, not when it's balance, just balance changes, you know? I don't see a point. So what do you, number three, what do you think about the new skins? Personally, I just spended my last steam money on the or obsidian aura, so I don't know if I can get these. And boo boo one I uh, also asked how do you feel about the new skin so I'm just gonna mind these two questions combine them Ugh. so being that these questions are from last week the obsidians came out the stoker already and the fletcher the weapon camo looks so bad it's like an lead and iron like I can't get my head over it but I love the character models and then the obsidian auras you still have until September to get them so you can just play a lot and then you can get them you know next question jerp clip how many hours do you have on dirty bomb i have 270 hours and i'm level 30. is that good well in game almost 1100 hours and on steam almost 1600 hours and 270 hours for 30 levels is good because for me it takes about like 10 hours to level up in objective mode because I tried to average 10k every game. From Window Breaker, what is your favorite stoker card and how many hours do you have on Dirty Bomb? Right now it's the M61 M4 and it has Flying Pig mechanic and drilled. I've been using it a lot because I have this card in Season 2 Ranked Edition, so I really like it. <laughs> Whole bunch. You know, I gotta show off my skins, guys. Uh, moving on. What is my name? Uh, it's, it's Sniper Girl, obviously. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's Sophia. How old are you? I'm 23. When's the face reveal? Right here. Uh, according... What is who is your most played merc? According to my stats, Sawbones and what is your accuracy? 32.9%. I'm almost there at 33, which which is good. From, question from Slade Wilson. When did you start playing Dirty Bomb? My stats say July 31st, 2015, but we can say August cuz I pretty sure I just logged in that day <laughs> and I didn't really play. Again, my uh, what is your age and name? I said that already. Picasso. So your name is Sniper Girl. I understand that you're good at sniping, but did you choose that name because you love sniping at that time? No. Um, in my first ever first person shooter game, which was Soldier Front, I kept getting sniped and I was under a different name at the time. I didn't know what weapon it was, so I asked and I learned it was the PSG one. So I, I made an account and I put sniper and then I added girl spelt with a U. So my name was X Sniper G U R L X. Then I was like, huh. <laughs> so then, um, then the name, the X's. X's came from the fact that I was a 12 year old and I was like okay I think X's look cool so I put one in the beginning and I was like it's it's not even I need to put one at the end too and then so that's what happened that's how Sniper Girl was born but originally it was with the U and how I came with it with spelt normally the girl G-I-R-L I got tired of that account I made a new one and I couldn't think of anything so I was just like I'm just gonna replace girl and I'm gonna spell it right this time instead of the G 
cooler way that I thought which, when I was 12 years old. And uh, I started using X Sniper Girl X for everything and it just ended up as my main account as well. And I'm not good at sniping. I just do it for fun. <laughs> uh, question from Muzzy Wang. What's your mouse sensitivity? 800 DPI, 14 in game. Actually increased by two. <laughs> After playing Players Unknown, I was I went to Dirty Bomb. I was like, oh, this is so slow. I need to increase this. <laughs> so next question from Barack Obama. Okay, when not recording, are you shooting bullets at enemy's booty pipe sometimes? If you mean just playing Dirty Bomb without recording, I do that all the time. I have a video playing on my second monitor, which is why I don't want to record because sound will be picked up and all I want to do is shoot things. Like, I just come home and I'm like, I don't want to record, but I want to play Dirty Bomb, so I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> and I end up using it sometimes for the play for the D Dirty Bomb fun time montages, so <laughs> it works out in a way. Question from Snackerite. Uh, when did you start did doing YouTube? Well, officially, seriously, starting February, this past February. So, but honestly, I've been uploading videos of Dirty Bomb for at least a year since January 2016. That's when I uploaded my first ever Dirty Bomb video. <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> and I was just uploading them to save my memories and moments for myself and my friends. That was the original intention. You know, I didn't expect it to get this big. <laughs> Question from Joaquin Medina Fuentes. Are you doing a new giveaway when and what? Well, uh, not at the moment. I don't have anything to give away. I did the Logitech cases giveaway because someone sent me the code on Twitter and said I could have it, but also said if I didn't want it, I could give it away to my subscribers. And so I made the giveaway because I already had the cards and the guy said I could, so that's, that's what I did. Next question is from Snowflake62. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing good. Um, I, I'm still in disbelief. My channel kind of blew up these past few months. <laughs> so question from Thomas Brookhoff. What color is your room? Look, the walls are white. Thank you very much. Super duper fleek. Oh, fleek. You're funny. Your question. Do you find it insane that Mr. Krabs sold SpongeBob Soul for 62 cents? Is that even a profit? How much would you sell Gannon's? Well, remember, Mr. Krabs only cares about money. And to Mr. Krabs, it's a profit because it was free money. And I wouldn't sell Gannon's side soul. I can't decide for him. He could sell his if he wanted to himself. <laughs> Next question, Doki time. Who's your BFFs for gaming and do you play with them in game? Is Gan inside your boyfriend? He comes out a lot from your videos, much amaze. My BFFs for gaming, Kanata, aka Lisa. Girl, BFF, come on. You gotta be first. Uh, then Gan inside, aka Akuma. And then there's Joey, aka Joey or Lil Eggy as I met him in a. Uh, League of Legends. That's his IGN in League of Legends, Little Eggy. He almost, he should have put that for Players Unknown, but I didn't tell him that he could put a different name. So he put Joey5, and I was like, oops. And then last, I have Danny, aka Mr. Zone. <laughs> I like, we like joking with him. <laughs> so, yeah. And to answer your question, Ganon's side is not my boyfriend. No, um, I'm living the single gaming life. I don't need a boyfriend. If one comes along, then sure. But, eh, doesn't really matter. So question from Dave Lester. How to improve aim? Well, first you gotta improve and work on your tracking so that when players move, you can aim, move your mouse to target them. And to practice, what you can do is aim at a spot like a door and just aim and shoot at it while moving and try to keep the bullets centered and eventually over time the more you play you will get used to spray patterns and gun recoil 
so your accuracy will start increasing because you're hitting more bullets than missing but honestly it's a lot that's what happened to my accuracy my accuracy was like 27 and now it's like 32.9 next question Leoshi Hinokami what do you think about the new ranked boosters they're nice I personally would only buy the 7 day ranked boosters and use them during the ranked bonus event to double my rank points instead of just 50% all the time, which is how I got enough points to buy the two ranked cards for the videos I made. So if you want to play ranked all the time, it's good if you buy it and that way there's you take less time to rack up the points. And question 2, will you consider collabing with other Dirty Bomb YouTubers? This question was also asked by Nvade YouTube, YT, yeah, YouTube, whatever. Uh, I would if I asked. I had to be honest. When I finally added Devour as a friend, I messaged him and asked, "Hey, do you want to collab together on a video?" And I got no response. So, if you want to collab with me and your Dirty Bomb YouTuber, just just ask. I'll respond. I won't ignore it. Devour, answer the question. Um, question three. Why do you hate Phantom so much? He's not that bad. I don't hate Phantom, and he's not that bad, but I just wish the EMP was separate from the cloak, because I like the old cloak, where you can cloak, and then you get out of cloak, and the cooldowns, like, the, the amount of time that you it was when you went into cloak, instead of a, a flat rate of cooldown. That was so bad. And I just hate being katana out of nowhere, especially by Ganon's inside. He'll come out of nowhere, and then I'll die. And I'll be like, what? And so, question four. Are the friends you play with in your videos also your real-life friends? No, they're not. Um, they all have played Soldier Front. That's where we get along together. But uh, I really met them off other games. I met Kanata off Soldier Front, yes. I met Joey off Soldier Front. He was in my clan. We were in the same clan. Uh, Ganon's side, I actually knew him from Soldier Front, like, he's best friends with, like, another guy who was in our clan, so we played with him a little. I didn't talk to him at that time, I only started talking to him when he started playing Dirty Bomb after the Hummel Bundle came out, and that's when he really started playing Dirty Bomb, and we got really along since then. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and I kept in contact with them. And I have a bucket list to meet them in real life one day. Next month. Lisa, Kanata, come on. She's actually going to visit me next month and I get to meet her. That's going to be awesome. Uh, and uh, they also like joking around with me because I'm the only Canadian in the group and they all live in the US. So they go, oh, sh Canadians. And I'm like, it's expensive because Canadian dollars. Just like players are known, it's $37 for them in three. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. <laughs> so yeah, number question five. What would be an awesome feature? One feature in your opinion to add to Dirty Bomb. For example, new game mode, trading card system, etc. Uh, a capture the flag game mode. I think that would be cool. <laughs> Honestly. Next question, Reverend Grog. What is your overall opinion of the game's balance? Are there any mercs, abilities, guns that you would think are drastically over or underpowered? And are there sp any specific changes you would like to see made to them? Currently, what I want to complain about is the Holland's shotgun, because I shoot people from really long range and they die. When I try to do the, do the same thing with Remberg, they don't die. They take like no damage. And I'm like, excuse me, they're both shotguns. <laughs> And then I think the concussion grenade needs a nerf. I honestly thought Thunder was fine before they buffed him and gave him the movement speed and the grayed out effect of his concussion grenades. But if, I thought it was fine just being a- f if it was just a flashbang with no movement penalties or anything, then I'd be okay with it because I remember I was able to kill people while flashed because I could see their name. So if they were the movement penalty, I think that's a good enough nerf. And then the LMGs, like the accuracy of the LMGs are so hard. <laughs> Unless you aim down sights with them. If you're just like hip firing with LMG, it's ridiculously inaccurate. 
it's so hard to aim. So yeah. Also, if you add one new gameplay mechanic to the game, what would it be? Like the previous question I answered, capture the flag. Next question, Abdul Rahman El Rayashi. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. <laughs> Hi, Sniper Girl. I love your videos. My question is. If you would ever have the ability to design a new mercenary, can you tell us how you want it to be? Like, even which country it would be from, what gender, what sp special abilities would it have, and what its name would be? Well, I'm not very creative, but I guess another sniper girl kind of like Widowmaker on Overwatch with a grappling hook. <laughs> Any country, I don't care. Any name, I don't care. <laughs> and then, uh, but then it would cause an imbalance because you're just gonna grapple hook everywhere and this is gonna be hard to kill you. So that's just my idea. <laughs> It'd be cool if it was ever implemented, but I don't see it happening. Question from Duck Juz. First off, congratulations on hitting a thousand subscribers. That's a great achievement. Now for the question for your upcoming Q&A video. How much money, real money, have you spent in total in Dirty Bomb for mercs, cash, cards, trinkets, etc.? Well, here's the screenshot. $365.63 US. Convert it to Canadian dollars. It's about $475. And it's so much less than I spent in Soldier Front. So I'm happy I've saved money. I've only made these purchases recently because of their new obsidians. <laughs> Honestly, I had money on my Steam wallet account since like November. They've just been sitting there. <laughs> and I finally was able to spend it this month, so I'm happy about it. <laughs> Alright, question from Thug. Do you think they should add some type of reward for the people who have stuck in the game for one or two years and only be available for those who stuck in the game for that long? For anyone further, they were there were the founder cards. Well, you kind of already have that, cause I play the containment war, so I have containment war cards, and I have the obsidian phoenix. So, in that general tells you I've been playing since at least November when they came out, 2015. Yeah. So, as years and months pass, people will ask, "Oh my gosh, that card's so cool!" And how nice card? What is it? How did you get it? Etc kind of already have that that's the point of limited edition things so if you buy the obsidians that are out right now i'm pretty sure in like a few months from now people will be like oh my gosh that's so cool because they changed the character model right so people will see that your card is special that's right all right next question it's dune how much do you love dirty bum Lots. I see myself playing it for years to come. Uh, hopefully it finally comes out of beta so then they could properly advertise it and get more players into the game. Question from James Fong. Sniper Girl, I'm absolutely your biggest fan and I love your videos. Congratulations on a thousand subs. Question, so what is your favorite card on Sawbones? CR73. Kotsny, obviously. Favorite weapon. Uh, get up mechanic and potent packs and I have that card in containment war and I was a noob at the time when when I got it and I was like I don't like this card and then I figured it out it's the best card <laughs> I was like okay <laughs> so what was your first cobalt and I'm gonna combine this question with cinnamon sgbs so which was what level were you when you got your first cobalt by a case or crafting so I got my first cobalt from an equipment case and I was like level seven or eight. And I actually have a screenshot of the cobalt I got from the equipment case, cause why not? So it was R23 proxy, quick slash looter and cool. So when did you start gaming? Well, when I was four years old, basically. PS1, my first PC game was Starcraft, which just announced that the remastered version is coming out in August. I already bought it. Fifteen dollars. Well, actually twenty, cause Canadian. <sighs> More money. <laughs> I honestly just played custom games and mini games that the people made. And question four: Do you have a career? No, I don't. 
Question five, how long have you been a YouTuber? I answered that previously. I've only been seriously doing it since like February. So, yeah. Read the pizza box. What was your first couple? Answered. Favorite what gun? Answered. Crotsney. What is your f best quad ace, etc. you have ever had? Well, it was when I did the whole team wipe. It's on my 300 subscription videos, but I'll just show you now. So yeah, that's like the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> I, I've i still done nothing that could beat that. <laughs> and it was months ago. <laughs> At least it's recent. So question from Clond Ike Potato. Nice one case says for the Q&A, what's your favorite card? I already answered that. The CR73 on Sawbones. Favorite Merc? Sawbones. From Zarashi. Yeah. Sawbones. From LMAO, it's Liz. Oh yeah, congratulations on winning the giveaway, by the way, Liz. <laughs> Again. Um, out of the four medics, which one is your favorite to play as? Sawbones. Question from a random dude. Congrats on the thousand. Just one question. What is the best merc that specializes in explosives, excluding airstrikes of any kind? I personally say Fragger and his grenade because you can cook it. And you also can't disable it with Phantom, being that it's not electronic. <laughs> Question from Billy Lynn. Should I craft a cobalt sawbones or phoenix? Sawbones, obviously. Sawbones is bay. <laughs> question from me per derp gaming. This is a long question, a lot of questions. So <laughs> thank you, me per derp. My question is for the QA. When did you set up your channel? Year. 2007. <sighs> it was a long time ago when I made this account and channel. Favorite medic and merc. Most played merc, most played gun. Sawbones and Crotsney. What are your three favorite augments? Three for a medic, three for engineer, three for airstrikes and bombs and stuff. Well, I answered. So. Uh, favorite three augments for medics. G get up, for sure. That's a given. You need it. <laughs> I definitely need it. Uh, it's, extra supplies is also nice, so I can drop down the heals faster and then potent packs, I guess. Uh, three engineer perks, well, you need lock-on. I, I definitely need lock-on. And then drilled and quick draw for the other two. So you can I can reload my guns and take out my, you know, take out my ability faster and stuff. And then the other three, I guess, um, exploded engine or bigger blast or mater, it's the same thing drilled and unshakable I guess so what augments do you think are most useless augment that I think is the most useless is pineapple juggler you know after they changed it to knock back by knifing it back meleeing it <laughs> I was like this is impossible to do it in a real game so if they kept it what it originally was which was if the grenade is in front of you you can pick it up and throw it back so if they kept that and put it with the knockback with melee, then it might be okay, but it's a little iffy. So please explain to me what focus augment does because I don't quite understand what flinching does in this game. So when you're being shot at, your crosshair actually goes up from aim punch and focus keeps your crosshair aim still and low, like it reduces the up effect so it doesn't go up as high so that you can readjust your crosshair by moving it back down faster and uh, hopefully kill that person that was just shooting at you and of screwing up your aim. And then if you could create a merc, how would you call it? Medic, NG, or sniper? Many, many specific augments only for that merc. Pretty much all info on that for the merc. Well, I basically answered this already, but there isn't a specific augment that I wouldn't, that I would put because it's, I think it's fine. Next question from Pap Philip. What do you think of the crafting system and how do you think it could be improved or do you think they should combine the crafting system with the trading one? Well, the current one is good for newer players and it takes less time to craft a cobalt. The only thing that they should do is reduce the weapon kit costs from 
for getting a cobalt because it goes from 8 to 45 because they're still using the old ratios where you need 6 golds to get the cobalt. So that's why they multiplied it by 6, 8 times 6. That's where that number came from. And if they added some kind of progression for crafting it, because right now it's like you can craft cobalt right away, like you don't get silvers or golds. So it's like th they kind of devalued golds in that way. If they had that progression kind of system, then it would be cool. Because I used to be like, okay, I'm going to craft these cards. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I like this augment. And I like this skin. I'm going to keep this card. So then I'd go and uh, grind out some more cards to try to get enough to craft the cobalt that I want. So yeah, if they did something like that, then that'd be cool. Uh... Question from Michael Hogland, and I'm gonna combine it with Five Hans' question. So Michael asks, question: Can you ask DB if you can host a fun game for anyone to join? Five Han asks, will you do a cu custom Dirty Bomb game mode with subs? Also, do you stream? Well, I can do a private server, but I would honestly just join an empty- I'd rather just join an empty server and let you guys join in while I'm streaming or something so then you know which server I'm in and you guys can play with me, communicate with me on chat or something. So yeah, uh, to answer the streaming question, yeah, I, I did stream. I haven't streamed since April. It was a long time ago. <laughs> I've just been very lazy and I've been busy myself. So yeah. Uh, question from Mariel, Mar Mira L. I don't know. <laughs> are hi, grads on a thousand subs, and I would like to know: Are you a student? If yes, of what? Yes, I am a student, and I don't want to share my major. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what do you want to do in the future? I mean, your dream job? Yeah, I still don't even know. I'm just in school because, kind of like get the degree to do some kind of job you know your biggest dream like imagine you have all the time and money I wish I could make videos stream full-time for the rest of my life play video games do it for a living whatever if I had all the time and money then I would want to play video games the rest of my life honestly <laughs> it isn't much And I'd never want to work. Nope. It's the dream. Win the lottery. <laughs> Quit. Never work again. Never work. Just live off of making videos or whatever. Last question from Samu8882. I got an idea. Show us your favorite Dirty Bomb screenshot collection or best screenshots. Okay. I'll just show you my favorite ones. So the first screenshot. No such thing as heroes. Oh shit, sniper girl, we fucked. LOL. My favorite screenshot. This is actually the first time someone was like, oh my god, it's sniper girl. And I was like, what? I was, this was like in January, so way before I even started like mainly doing the YouTube thing. So yeah, this, this was a shocker to me. <laughs> this is my favorite. Sorry, heroes, you're the best. <laughs> I know you're watching. My favorite second screenshot is a uh, damn it, Mog and Sniper. Screw you guys for making me try hard on the touchpad. First of all, I was like, what? How is he try harding on a touchpad? Like, how do you even do it? And I remember he was playing like Shotgun Proxy, so yeah. I blocked out the names because I don't want to name and shame, but heroes, you, you know, I gotta. <laughs> And then next one, we got a sniper girl playing medic. Love it. Well, I mean medic, so why not? You know. Screenshot number four. This is the best one. This is like the best reaction. It's the best reaction I've ever gotten. Sniper girl was like a fucking mini boss on their team. And I was like, lol. Why? Because she was very deadly. Right at the end, folks, the engineers were defusing, and uh. I swear, she'd run into a room and just clean two or three up at a time. Yeah, good job, GG. And I remember I was using Grander in this match, so... Yeah, I remember I was playing Amy Grander. Definitely. <laughs> and then this one. Um, number five. You're very quick with that sniper rifle, sniper girl. 
And then later on at the end of the game, he says, Seriously, your aim is in question. Like, is he trying to hack you, Sation? You know? I was like, mm, not really. And then, next change shot. You have X sniper on your team, so you can relax and do nothing. Like, what does that mean? I, I can't carry. We, we, I try to carry in rank. Doesn't work. What is this guy talking about? Come on. <laughs> Screenshot number seven. Sniper girl might also have been hacking, but I'm not sure about her. And I'm like, what? And then another person just replied, I think she's just good. Lulz. <laughs> Money screenshot number eight. Sniper girl, you got a fucking eyeball with my effing eyeball with that need. I'm like, sticky bomb. Sticky bomb right in the eye, you know? And then I have this random screenshot where I hit exactly 3,500 enough for the damn last trinket <laughs> during the Fire of the Skies event. And then I have my final screenshot. It's a little flashback. I was only level 35. This was my first ever 50 kills game and I got it with Kira. So, and this also happened like on my birthday, I remember. It was like the best thing that ever happened to me. All right, so that's it for the screenshots. So that's all for the Q&A. Bye. Thanks guys for the a thousand subscribers. I wouldn't be here without you. I'm, again, I'm still in shock. My channel kind of blew up within like these past few months. I didn't think you'd get this big and I just hope I keep growing at this time.